CJ, my little fuck up. <clears throat> well, it's been a while since I last spoke with everybody on video or did a journal. I think the last time I did talk or say something, it was in reference to me feeling really bad because I didn't have a job. That I felt like I just didn't know what was going to happen to me. Um, I was really down was really in a slump to the point that I didn't know what was going to happen. Well, with support from my family, my DS family, and my sir, of course sir first, um, and having faith, I persevered. I have a job now, and as a matter of fact I've had two. One was just temporary, but now I'm on a permanent job. And I'm really digging that. I'm really, really feeling comfortable with the people that I work with, um, what I'm doing. Not only am I doing what I'm familiar with, I'm learning something new. So that's good because that's just more to go on my resume. That just makes me more um, more um, in demand, you know. So um, I'm really happy about that. <laughs> um After getting this job, though, I also had to do something that I never thought I would do. And that was actually go back into the Pentagon after 9-11. I mean, I was there when it happened, but um, the way it affected me after that, the aftermath and everything from it, was really, really something for me. I um, actually went through a state of depression, wind up getting um, post-traumatic stress syndrome, but that's, that's a long story, but it still all fits into what I'm really getting ready to say here. Um, this job could be, um, actually requires me to go back into that building which is something that I feared. I mean, I had a serious fear to going back into that building. So, the day I was supposed to go into it, it really, really, really made me panic. I mean, I panicked so much that when I found out I was going to have to go back, I went to Sir Easy and told him, hey, I don't know if I could do it or not, you know. And he said, you can do it. Out of all that you've learned and all that you know, you can do it. Well, with those words and hearing that voice, once I went through that checkpoint and I went to open up those wooden doors, which was really a struggle for me, I walked inside that building, looked in it. It didn't even look like the same building. It was like a strange building to me. Here I was all this time thinking that, wow, you know, I cannot go back in that building because I just have so many bad memories. And it messed me up. So, when I went in that building and seen how it changed, it was like the fear was just, was lifted up off my shoulders, you know. I was like, wow, all this time, over six years, I've been stressing myself out, panicking when I passed it. Even if I thought I was going to get close to it, I had to go in it, you know. But, hey, having faith, believing in myself, believing in my sir, and just doing it and not letting the dysfunction, dysfunction that I have towards it get the best of me, I was able to fight that fear off, release the pain. So, getting the job was also a good thing because I actually was able to get rid of something that I've been carrying around for a long time. You know, that fear, that emotion of being harmed because I damn sure didn't feel safe in that building at that particular time, before and even after. But anyways, now a whole different story. I've been in that building three times since that day. 
and I've been on my job for like two weeks now. So, this journey that I'm on has been nothing but good for me, for us, because it's been nothing but growth in all ways. CJ, my little fuck up.